everyone and welcome back to Simply Vanilla Sims channel. Today I will be introducing my first ever legacy challenge. Yes, I have never in the entire Sims series played a legacy. Uh, not just that I have never played one, uh, I've never completed one, I've never even attempted to play one. Um, legacies are so not my usual play style. I'm usually a builder. I'm usually um, living on long life forever, always as a young adult and partying into the night, um, not usually having a lot of children and continuing my legacy on as my Sims usually never die. So today I'm going to introduce you to uh, this new legacy and uh, I also want to apologize if I sound a little funny. Um, I've been getting over being sick. And uh, I just really wanted to film this um, because I'm really excited about it. And I decided to just go ahead and do it instead of waiting maybe a little bit longer for my voice to sound a little less uh, gross and hoarse. So uh, I apologize for that. And uh, I'll try not to cough into the mic too much. If I do, I'll just pause or, you know, kind of try to move away. So I do apologize for anything that you might hear that's kind of gross during this. I'll try to keep it to a minimum, but um, it is the season. So I have prepared a new game for our legacy. Um, if anybody is interested in um, legacy rules and challenges, you can find them online at simslegacychallenge.com. And all the full rules are there. So I will be going over the rules that I um, specifically will be following in terms of the uh, air laws and gender laws and things like that. The general rules I will also be following. And um, this is a point-based system. So I'm going to try to keep track of the points too. But um, since I've never done it before um, and I'm recording it, it might be a little tricky. So let's go ahead and go into I'm gonna want I want my sim to live in Windenburg um, back in the day in Sims 3 and um, other iterations legacy challenges usually started off on a 64 by 64 lot uh, we have not had one of those in the Sims uh, 4 until Windenburg and so um, the challenge had been altered to start on one of the other 50 by 50 lots in Oasis Springs or Willow Creek and also um, required you to buy the knight of the octagon table i believe it's called that knight statue uh it's eighty two hundred dollars and so that eats up like the rest of your money and you're left with eighteen hundred dollars to um start your legacy with so because we have a new 64 by 64 lot we are going to use that and it is more expensive than the 60 by 60 lots so it does not allow us to buy the knight statue right away but we'll get into that when we actually get into our lot so i'm going to go ahead and go into create a sim yazip i'll get through you and i've already created a sim for this challenge and i'll go ahead and introduce you to her right now so this is sky um, excuse me, that's her last name. I went back and forth with the last names and the first names a bunch of times, and I can't obviously remember where it landed. So her name is Marley Sky. Um, she's obviously a bit of a hippie yeah. chick. Um, her aspiration is a uh, freelance botanist. She's creative, uh, loves the outdoors, and a little bit clumsy, since I have never played a clumsy sim, and um, it seemed to fit her sort of hippie vibe that she had going on here um she has a few other outfits that i will show you and she will be the founder of our family and our family will carry on the sky name so here are her everyday outfits pretty hippie standard stuff considering she will be roughing it for quite a while um this is her formal this is probably the fanciest uh -huh. thing she owns very relaxed um athletic wear some sleepwear that she can change into and her party outfit I love her party outfit this is a dress that came from uh, with get together and I have not used it I don't think on any of my sins and uh, also her hair is from get together and last but not least her little bathing suit so uh, I started carrying on her hippie vibe with that <sighs> so we're gonna go ahead and move her into I don't like that picture or that one or that one, or that one, or that one. That was the same one. All right, there you go. She's like, I'm looking fine. 
So we're going to move her into this uh, lot. This is going to leave us with 800, excuse me, $8,000, as you can see here. And uh, that is not enough money to buy the Knight of the Octagon Table statue that we need to buy. Um, oh, since I have been playing this, setting up this game, I uh, obviously didn't go into, just go into her for some reason. So why don't we take this moment to go into the lot, and then we can cover my succession and other laws there, and also talk a little bit about what it means to start on one of the 64 by 64 lots. So you guys can just stare at her while I uh, go over my legacy rules that I've chosen for this legacy. So when you start a legacy, you can choose from various um, rules that determine who the next heir of the legacy will be. And I chose to follow um, the strict equality rule for my gender law. So that means that the founder may be of either gender. Obviously, my founder is a woman. And however, at that, after that, only children of the opposite gender to the founder are eligible to be named heir. So this means that every other heir will be a different gender. So her next heir, the successive heir to the second generation has to be a man. And then the next heir after that will be a woman and so on. So we get to play a little bit of each side and we're not so bored necessarily of a bunch of dudes or a bunch of chicks. And uh, we get to explore a little more gameplay that way in my mind. Um, so the bloodline law that I've chosen to follow, this determines which type of babies can be eligible, whether or not they're adopted or not. So I chose to choose just traditional as opposed to strict traditional or some of the other options. Um, traditional means that children who are naturally born from the previous generation are eligible to be named heir. Adopted children are ineligible to be named heir unless there are no other children um, that are have been born naturally that um, generation. So I really didn't want to completely cut out the um, eligibility of adopted children because I feel like it does limit gameplay in, in a way. Uh, I myself am an adopted child, so I did sort of feel that that was a little mean to me. And uh, also, you know, I feel like if... We have a sim, you know, in the generations, especially since we're forcing uh, each heir to be of a different gender, that maybe, you know, there might be a sim that doesn't want to actually have babies or maybe is, you know, gay or a lesbian or something like that. And they wouldn't necessarily be able to have physically have babies uh, with their significant other. So I wanted to leave that a little more open so we could let those people potentially have heirs for the next generation. Now, the heir law, um, this is how the um, babies will be determined as the heir. Um, so I'd really like to be able to do democracy to decide my next heir, which um, means that my viewers, you guys, get to vote in some way. Um, whether that's through some sort of poll or in comments, I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, I think I'm going to see what the response is before I decide, because we have a little bit of time before we have to pick the next heir. If I don't get enough interest, for whatever reason, to be able to run it as a democracy, it will revert to the first born eligible living child. So this might mean that in a generation there may be an older child who's living, but they're not eligible because they're not the right gender, things like that. So um, that's what it's going to do. We're going to do democracy. And if we can't do democracy, then we're going to do our firstborn. Now, um, the very last thing is the species law, whether or not what we want to allow our founder to mate with things that are other than, quote, human. <clears throat> I feel like this chick's really kind of a cool hippie chick and that she wouldn't have any problem necessarily, you know, having an alien baby or getting it on with an alien. So I feel like uh, species of any any species can be eligible. It just should not impact their eligibility. So we're going to go with a tolerant species law for that. So let's talk about what do we do because we can't buy the knight of the, I always want to say round table, but it's not. It's the knight of the octagon table, which is 
really silly. So he's here in our, oh yeah, right here. He said, I can't even buy him because he's too expensive. So I am short $200 for that guy. And as per the new legacy rules that have been updated according to um, the Sims Legacy Challenge.com and Pinstar, uh, that starting in these lots, there are two ways that you can approach this. You can approach this in the uh, same way we approached the original challenge, which is that it would leave you with, I think you're supposed to end up with $1,800 to buy like a fridge and a toilet and a bed so you don't die in your first week all alone on your big empty lot. So that is one way to do this. The new way is, quote, the extreme start option. And apparently it gains you an extra point in the legacy, which I have no idea if I'm going to be successful keeping track of the points or not. But even if I'm not, um, I kind of like the idea of trying this out because it really, really means they have to work hard. And uh, I have been playing um, a different family in a rags to riches type challenge. And this is sort of the same start. So instead of buying the alternate objects that leave me with $1,800 to buy my basic necessities, instead, I'm going to choose the extreme start option, which means that I'm not allowed to buy or build anything until I earn an additional $200 and buy this stupid knight of the octagon table. So that means zero money. I'm going to have to um, I'm not going to be able to spend any of this $8,000. I will have to survive completely on my own for a couple days. And if I do not buy the knight statue within the first week before the first set of bills arrive, so that would be a week, uh, a little less than a week because I'm fairly sure it's a Monday right now. Um, and Or Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday right now. And Monday of next week will be um, our bill day. So, yeah, it's just about a week. I have... A week to buy the statue which shouldn't be a problem um especially if we get a job <laughs> but i haven't decided if this chick will get a job or not i think she might have to especially with this extreme extreme start so um it's eight o'clock in the morning in a brand new world which means nothing is generated and there's no way for me to really make any money uh, and I can't spend any money, so I think she's going to go fishing, since that's about the only option left to me at this point. So let's see where we can go fishing around here. So this is this whole huge thing as our lot. Holy bejesus. This is a big neighborhood. I haven't really played in this neighborhood too much. A little bit with one family, but uh, not too, too much. I've played on the island a little bit, but uh, I haven't really played in Windenburg much at all since the game is so new and the holidays have been here. Man, that is a loud waterfall. I'm going to turn down the volume because it sounds really loud to me, so I would imagine it sounds really loud to you guys, too. I'm going to turn the sound effects down to, like, 50. Maybe, let's do 65. Let's see what, how that happens. If that changes anything. And we'll save it since we're here. I always get paranoid about losing stuff. Mm, yeah, I guess that changed it a little bit. I assume she's probably just running over there. Yep, there she goes. There she goes. Miss Marley. Oh, there's plenty of people wandering around on the street, apparently. I don't know who those people are. It's so pretty here. I can't get over it. It just blows my mind. And all of the terrain changes and stuff. Like, they really did a nice job. I've always liked that you could see the fish in the water. Um, I really think that that's really pretty. Um, and, of course, this... This waterfall is just something else with this water wheel here that actually works. I can't believe it. So she's going to fish for a little bit. And, um, you know, I thought nothing would have spawned. But it looks like a rock did spawn right there already. So, um, and there's a little community gardener lady. Well, the upside is at least there's these new bushes that you can, quote, fertilize, which means that um, 
I won't have to worry too much about a bathroom. Yeah, there's some stuff we can collect, but I don't think that any of the uh, plants have spawned yet. Um, lady, what are you doing? Standing directly in front of me. Do you have any idea how awkward and difficult this is making this for me? I feel like I'm going to, like, hit you in the head. Well, I suppose since you're here, why don't I talk to you? Um, since you're, like, toes deep in the mud. Like, seriously, what's going on here? Her feet are literally in the mud. I think also... Oh, nope, she didn't catch anything. <laughs> I heard her. It was like she was catching something, but there was nothing there. Oh, gosh, she is too funny. I'm going to finagle the volume again, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, it just sounds really loud to me, so I feel like it sounds also really loud to somebody watching. So we're going to try that. And see if this maybe made things slightly better. Yeah, I can't really tell, honestly. It all kind of sounds the same. Well, stop fishing and say hi to this chick since she stood directly uh, in front yeah, of you yeah. and was really determined to... Wow, what, what was up with that wave? So what, now she's just going to walk away? Like, come back here. Okay. Eh, you know what? A community gardener is not a bad friend, given the fact that she's uh, a hippie chick and uh, wants to be a gardener. And You know, my, my plan with this was a, sort of trying to... <laughs> to make our money with gardening Chiller as opposed to um, painting or some of the other more obvious <laughs> options. But, um, flows it, flows it, flows it. Well, if you're just going to be weird, then <laughs> apparently Marley doesn't think she's weird, so okay. All right, Marley, why don't you go dig some stuff up? Where was that other one? There was another one. At least this kind of stuff usually is worth... Uh, a little bit of money. Sometimes you can get lucky and get something that's actually worth a lot of money. Um, but from my recollection of this neighborhood, uh, there are not a lot of rock collectives, which is kind of too bad. Um, oh, you can run across this little rock bridge, by the way. Ooh, frogs! So I love, 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 love frogs. So listen to the ducks! Look how pretty it is. Ugh. I would live here. I would so, so live here. And someday our house will be over there in that big empty space. Well, <clears throat> eventually she'll make it over here and harvest or collect, I should say. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say harvest the frogs. Anyway, I was talking about why I love frogs and I got distracted by the ducks. Um, the reason why I really like frogs is because I, you can breed them now and make them, um, usually they're worth quite a bit of money. Um, looking around for her, she should be coming up somewhere soon. And um, if you get a couple of really high um, value frogs, you can breed them together and um, sell them. And you can breed them every couple hours. So you can breed them like multiple times a day. And it really is usually worth, um, like especially if you get one that's worth 100 bucks, can be like worth two or $300 a day, depending on how often you breed them and blah, blah, blah. So you guys got the idea. I'm uh, checking on her bladder here because um, we are going to be near a bush. Uh, once she ever, all right, she's way down there. Okay. Ah, oh, she's coming up. All right. So, uh, I believe the free spirits live in this house, which would be, um, Ulrike and I forget what the other chick's name is. She was in a lot of the promo stuff. Um, she's like that geeky short haired girl with like the blazer and the violin. Um, I don't know why she didn't run across that like little bridge and she ran all the way over here. But she did. So this is what's happening, I guess. That seems really silly. I mean, the bridge seemed faster, but what do I know? And I'm still just like floored watching this scenery. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty this is. I'm still like just oogling this game. I. Oh my god, baby ducks! Look! Oops, I got out of tab. Baby ducks! So much ducking! Look! 
Okay, they look a little weird and pixelated up close. All right, they're a little creepy. I'm not going to look at them up close again. So um, she doesn't really have to pee, but we're going to make her use the bush anyway because I have never used the bush. And um, she eventually, you know, fairly soon she'll have to pee. And she's got about half of the neighborhood, I think, left to go around. So she's not really into this idea of going in the bush. I can hear her going in the bush. Oh, my gosh. Now it's like, oh my god, it like stopped and then started. <laughs> I can't believe that. Dang, girl, you must have really had to pee. Woo. Well, I, ooh, wow, and now look, the bushes stank. Holy moly. All right, girl, leave that alone. Um, yeah, you can't harvest that. Let's see what else we can we can harvest. Can we harvest anything up here? I don't think so. Um, I get really lost in this map, actually. I feel like there's a whole area that I didn't, like, go up. Like, ah, oh, over here, there's, like, oh, this area up here. Whoa. Okay, uh, I don't think you can cook food on the new campfire. Uh, I guess they're not a campfire. It's technically a bonfire. And I don't believe... Dude, pigeons! Holy crap. All right. I'm getting way too excited here. So I do not believe that um, you can cook food on any of those. Um, man, they're not, fire, they're not fire pits. They are bonfires. Thank you. I knew that they were called something else. They're like bigger. They have different interactions, including like, um, gosh, I just so pretty uh i think you can like dance around them and do all sorts of weird stuff and um anyway yay she caught another frog so why don't we go home and um we can watch her little trip down the street so let's see if we how much we collected. Well, we, we collected some stuff. Let's see what the frogs were. 35 bucks for that frog. 10 bucks for that frog. Let's see what happens if we breed them together. If we get a... Yeah, we got a more expensive one. So we're going to hold on to those two. And we're just going to keep breeding them for a while. Ooh, that was worth 70. Eh, 25. And a fish that's probably spoiled already. And 25. Okay. Well, yeah, we're getting close. 81.37. We need 82 total. And, um, well, I suppose since, let's see what our needs look like. Our needs look okay. We've collected pretty much everything that we can possibly collect in the neighborhood. I am not going to bother continuing to go home because that's just sort of silly. Uh, since there's nothing to do at home and I'm pretty sure I can't harvest anything. Nope. All right. Let's go off somewhere and try to meet somebody. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, you know what? I was, well, let's try this little coffee shop. Apparently, Brianna Cleary is my only friend. Oh, right. She's the lady I met at the fishing place. That weird little gardener. So, this video is probably not going to be... Um, we're not, probably not going to get much done, uh, since I like to try to keep the videos under 30 minutes, and um, we're getting pretty close with the introductions and just all of the moving and that all of the everything going on. Um, hey, there's me. Nancy Landgrab. Oh, I should um, sort of take that moment to introduce my townies. So I have given all of my townies um, that came with the base game a makeover. Uh, they look like this in all my games. I just didn't really like how they came. They've also been updated, obviously, with some newer content like this. Um, they got a little bit better makeup. Um, mostly, I didn't mess with their physical structures too much um, or their traits or anything like that. I did not mess with the Get to Work Sims because I pretty much really liked how they all looked and their like little stories and dynamics and stuff like that. So, um, you will probably recognize most of the townie sims that are from the base game. 
um, because they look pretty similar. Like Nancy Landgrab here doesn't look too different. Um, she's just sporting a lot more Richie Rich style than usual. So there's nobody here. This is so sad. And I like, can I order anything that I know because it's all going to cost me money? I can't order like chips. Aren't the chips free? Okay, well, screw the cafe. Let's see who's running around in the world. Whoa, I am not digging him. Because, you know, ultimately the point of this is to meet a dude and then pop out the next generation. Marcus Flex. Yeah, I don't think so, bro. Too bro -y for me. Too bro -y for Marley, too. Way too bro -y for Marley. A little Miss Marley. Oh, she looks so, so funny we, she would just be so she would be too weird oh you know what i know who this lady is this lady is the leader of the garden gnomes so let's uh introduce ourselves to her uh, she Paula. the garden gnomes is like a gardening club in um one of the pre-made clubs so i could see her joining the garden gnomes and um i could certainly see her potentially um becoming good friends with this lady because she's into gardening too so why didn't you say hi to her come on Say hi to her. Let's go. The samba. Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, so so. Sweet. Yay. Make friends. All right. Let's go look for some eligible men. Uh, nope. Not a dude. Also, not a dude. Oh, there's a dude. Let's see if he's unattractable, acceptable dude. What is up with this like mustache on everybody? It's like a second guy I've seen with that. I don't like that stash. It's like a rapey stash. Okay. Uh, alrighty then. You're like hidden by the fence. Let's see if I can like move the camera in to see you this way. I can't see your face, buddy. Well, you know, he's alright looking, I suppose. So, um, gosh, the camera does not like this little corner. <laughs> it's like, no, you're not allowed to be in the corner. Get out of the corner. Okay, friendly introduction. He's really got some major hair going on. Holy Lord. I'm not sure if I like those sleepy eyes. <laughs> well, well, we'll introduce ourselves anyway, I suppose. And hope for the best. And prepare for the worst, I suppose. Let's see if there's any other dudes that have showed up. Come on, men! I guess it's a bit early. Oh, dag, dag. I don't know. All right. Well, I don't know what happened to our other barista, but apparently Vivian Lewis is now our new barista. Aren't you a little old to have a job? And what the F is up with these slippers? Oh. Well, they seem to be hitting it off. That's great. At least she'll make some friends. She won't be so lonely in life, I suppose. Still still looking for some men. Men of the world. Um, that guy is obviously making his way over there still. And, um... Oh, okay. Well, we got some more people who showed up, I think. There... Oh, that was the guy with the funny beard. Uh, who is this? Oh, he's married to someone else, I'm fairly sure. Because uh, he's one of the base game... Or, not, excuse me, not the base game, but uh, the get-together uh, pre-mates, so really sure that he is married to somebody else. All right, I'm just going to kind of scroll around here. <clears throat> Gosh, this is a really big neighborhoods. See if I can find anybody. All right, I'm failing at that really miserably. Failing at finding anyone. There's a bar over there. I wonder if that would change things. If I went over there. Well. I don't know. Who's that? Jeffrey. Godfrey. I'm not sure if it's, it's Godfrey. It might be Jeffrey. I think it's Jeffrey. Okay, well, sorry for being really super indecisive here and scrolling around like a crazy person. Uh, we're going to try a different location. Because I've decided that the men here are all duds. 
Hot men usually go to the gym, don't they? Let's go to the gym. All right, we're going to go to the gym, check out the gym scene. And then uh, I think I'll call it quits for uh, for this particular video. All right, here we are at the gym. Anybody? Oop, oop, hottie McCotter. Oh, that's Dawn, isn't it? Yep, it's Dawn. And, um, oh, Marcus Flex again. Man, I don't know. I don't want to date Marcus Flex. Marcus Flex is too much of a man. Well, that sounded wrong. Um, just too bro -y. Too, like, pumped full of God knows what. Oh, come on. Isn't there anybody in this town? I suppose it's just super early in the game and there hasn't really been enough time to generate anybody. Blah, blah, blah. All right. What are the other roles that I should maybe perhaps mention in this game? Um, is that... Oh, Paolo. Oh, I really like him. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself to him. But here's the deal. I do not think that we are allowed oh, yeah. to actually date him yeah. or get married to him as much as like I would really like to because I believe that it's in the rules that you are not allowed to marry. Um, where are you going? Why are you going downstairs? I don't understand. Okay. Uh, anyway, you're not allowed to marry... Um, Sims that are Paolo, where did you go? Why did you go upstairs? And where are you gonna come down and talk to me ever? Like, dude, come on. I'm just looking around at who's up here. Who's this? That's Carla and Alright, so here they are introducing themselves finally. Um so Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's a rule that says we are not allowed to marry or date. Uh, or I suppose we could date, but we're not allowed to marry uh, pre-made Sims. They need to be generated by the game. Um, I think it has something to do with not knowing what their traits are. Blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, I'm going to double check that because I really like him and I'd really like him them to be able to like maybe have a relationship um i kind of had that in my mind but i'm fairly sure that it's not gonna work so we will find out uh this guy why don't we introduce ourselves to this guy because he is definitely a game generated sim he does have that hard horrid mustache what is up with that like dude and he's like in my opinion, yeah, frankly, yeah, yeah. not all that attractive, but yeah, we could give him a cast makeover and, you know, maybe it'd be all right. So you are allowed to change um, appearances and things like that. You're just not allowed to change traits or aspirations or anything like that. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they figure that you, um, you just kind of covered everything. Well, you're low on fun, so why don't you watch watch the cooking channel? You can, like, learn some cooking at the same time. You're also hungry, which, uh, maybe there's some... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for that. I had to cough. Um, so maybe there's a grill around here that she can uh, maybe get some food at. Because uh, that's what I've always done in my rags to riches is they've always just kind of gone somewhere that has had a grill. And somebody's like usually just made something and it's there and she can eat it. So... Um, I didn't see any girls. I think we're gonna, this, this video will be a little bit longer than usual. Um, we're gonna let her raise her fun up all the way because I think this is like the only chance she's really gonna be able to do it. And, um, and then we're gonna maybe go to a park, a uh, bigger park, <laughs> and try and see if somebody like cooks something. <laughs> 
somewhere we can possibly eat. So, all right. So let's go to... Oh, man. I don't even know if there's anywhere here that, like, has a grill in, like, a public space. So instead, we're going to go to Willow Creek. And we're going to go to Magnolia Blossom Park. And you know what? I just realized that I usually update... How did she meet this chick? I totally don't remember meeting her. Okay. Um... Anyway, we're, I usually update <clears throat> Willow Creek, the Willow Creek and the Oasis Springs Park, um, and I realized that I didn't do that yet, so I will update those before the next Let's Play. Uh, they won't look too different. I just add usually like the missing, the it some items from like the new um, expansions and stuff like that, so. Oh man, nobody, nobody, nobody cooked anything. Oh, this is so depressing. <clears throat> Colt Thorne, what a strange name for a female child. All right, that's also a teenager. I happen to know who that is. He's a pre-made sim. And there's pretty much nobody else here. Woot. Oh, look, one of the Birgensons. 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 I don't know. Anyway, they followed me here. Creepy. Okay, so <clears throat> sometimes we have some luck. I can really tell my voice is fading. Uh, sometimes we have some luck with one of these grills, but I really don't see anything. Oh, my God. And I didn't update this, so there's no fire pit here, which is what there usually is. And so I can't even cook myself a hot dog for free. The fire pit lets you cook hot dogs for free, by the way. I think it does, at least. <clears throat> And, uh, all right, so I am going to rummage around in the garbages and look for some fucking food, I suppose. Whoops. I said the F word. I'm not supposed to do that. This is supposed to be clean. Or at least not the F word. <laughs> Just pretend I didn't say it. All right, rummage. Oh, did she get anything? She got a postcard that we're going to sell for 20 bucks. Oh, and look, we can breed our frog. And now we can sell one of the frogs. Yay. Oh, we're so close. But even then, we're not going to have, like, enough money to actually, like, <clears throat> buy anything beyond the statue. And we're still going to be starving. I have to just cough again, so I'm going to mute the mic. Oh. All right, really sorry, guys, about that. I had a little bit of a coughing fit. I keep hoping that she'll pull something edible out of the trash. But apparently I can't just drag that there. That's really funny. Nothing? I'm going to have to keep rummaging? Oh, this is just so sad. Somebody please take pity on me and cook something. Please, please cook something. I'm starving. Man. This is just sad. I'm getting really hungry. And apparently, like, really Ooh. stank from going through these bins. Well, um, <clears throat> let's keep, keep rummaging, I suppose. And then we'll move on somewhere else to rummage. I don't think I can rummage through that one. But I can look for frogs. Can I pick? All right. Um, okay. So I'm going to go rummage, I suppose. And um, try to find all of the places to collect things. And um, hopefully I can... I just need eight bucks, guys. Come on. And then I can I can buy the statue, but that still doesn't solve my my food related problems, uh, which are becoming quite severe. And uh, so is my energy. So <laughs> this is an exciting end to this video. I like I feel like I should stop because it's getting so long, but I really want her to complete this goal of getting getting the statue and um, 
and and finishing out this day that that we've been playing here. So I'm really going to going to push her to do that. Um, let's see if she managed to no, she still hasn't picked up anything from her rummaging. That's that's just sad. But we're going to keep looking for frogs and um, digging things up and hope that her mood does not get so horrifying that she can't actually collect stuff anymore because that's a possibility. They get so uncomfortable and depressed that they will not collect anything anymore. And um, I really, really don't want that to happen. Oh, look at her. She looks so depressed. Oh, my gosh. Look at poor Marley. She's just like, why have you done this to me? All right. I'm fairly sure that there's like two more things to pick up. I'm going to pause this while I look for the last couple things so that she doesn't completely die of, <laughs> I wish she wouldn't die, but you know what I mean. Um, she's not quite at that point yet, but uh, it's a, uh, it gets, that's a possibility if, you know, things go really south really quickly, but they would really have to go south really quickly. I don't think they will. And I'm pretty sure this is the last thing to collect right there, actually. And I'm going to double check again if anybody took pity on me and managed to cook me something. Um, nope, of course not. Oh, and I missed a... I'm not going to run back and get that one. I'm just not, because she's really, really getting... Um, <laughs> Kind of bent out of shape. Can I harvest? I can't even harvest an apple and eat it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, let's go. Oh, oh she's she is just horribly miserable. She says no. She says, I won't do it. I'm t it's too it's too horrifying for me. I, I'm too uncomfortable. I just won't do it. So, we are going to go home. so not by running, we're going to go home by traveling on the map, because I am a lazy person. And then we'll sell off what we had, and we'll buy our statue, and we will try to just sleep this out on a bench or something. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. We have a $10 frog. Oh, yes. Okay. These frogs, <clears throat> this dirt server frog is one of the like more valuable ones in the game. So I'm really super stoked to get one of those. <clears throat> I'm going to try to breed it with one of our other frogs. Unfortunately, it did just give me one of the other ones, but who knows? So I could open this up, but it's actually worth more money usually to just sell them as is. So I will do that. I will also sell that and that and um, one of the tiger frogs because we have two frogs so we can keep breeding them to each other. <coughs> we do have enough money, yay, to buy our statue, which we're going to go do right now. Our knight, we want it in silver. Boom, our knight, there he is. Now, you are required to put your knight into your inventory because it will increase your bills but it will not give you any of the fun positive moodlets that go along with that so i'm left with 197 dollars oh my gosh okay let's see if we can do anything with that like a bed nope no bed i don't think we can even buy a tent for that can we buy a toilet i don't think we can even buy a toilet nope no toilet what, can we buy anything? I don't think we can sort things by, like, things we can afford and not afford, but let's see. Nothing there. How do you buy a cooler? I don't remember how to buy a cooler. Um, let's just search it. Okay, so, well, I can apparently buy a fire, but, and a cooler. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? Forget it. 
we are going to end right now like this with our poor sim really really sad and depressed from a very difficult first legacy day um thank you all so much for watching and i will be back with you in my next video please subscribe and like thank you so much Thank you.